Today we are looking at the acted out problem solving strategy within the messy space framework. I'm going to start by reading the sample question. Place 14 blocks in three piles. The first pile should have one less than the third. The third pile should have twice as many as the second and how many blocks are in each pile. Let's look at phase one. What do I already know? I know that there are going to be th three piles and there's going to be 14 blocks all together. I know that the first pile is going to have one less than the third. And I know that the third pile is going to be double the second. What do I need to know? I want to know how many blocks in each pile. Let's look at phase two, our messy space, where we are acting it out. Now in this chance, I'm gonna act it out using the Apple Pen. The reason we use Act It Out is when there are problems that are hard to visualize and it makes sense to act it out and give it a go if you can. Helps you experience problems and discover strategies that will eventually lead to a solution. We also could do this through manipulating concrete objects to mimic the actions and solution within the problem. So I'm going to go through and demonstrate this method for you. So I've got 14 blocks in three piles and the first one has to have one less than the third. So let's say we've got, go through and write the piles, our first pile, our second pile, and our third pile. Okay, so the first pile is going to have one less than the third. So let's say we have four in the first pile. Actually, we need to have double, let's say six in the first pile. So the third pile has got to have, first pile has to have one less than the third. So let's say four, five, six, seven. Remember there's 14 blocks all together. So the first pile is one less than the third and the second pile has to be half the size of the third. Half of seven is three and a half, I guess. So we've got six, three and a half and seven. So that is really quite large and equals, gives us a total of 16 and a half. So we're quite off here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce it all by one. Let's see what happens here. Let's go with third pile of five. And the first pile is one less than the third, which would give us four. So we have four in our first pile and we have five in our third pile. Our second pile should be half the size of our third pile, which would be two and a half. So we have four, two and a half, and five, nine, which is 11 and a half. So we've gone too small here. So let's do it again. I'm gonna add one on here for five. Add another one in the third pile because it's one extra. And then half of the third pile is three. Let's see how we go here. Five, three, and six. Five plus three is eight plus six equals 14. Now I believe that we have found our solution, but we need to go through and check it. So the first pile has five, the second pile has three, and the third pile has six. We need to put it against the information above. So the third pile 
is going to have one more than the first, which is correct. And the second pile should have half the size of the third pile, which is also correct. So our answer is reasonable and can be justified. So the answer would be first pile has five, whereas the second pile has three, and the third pile has six blocks. And that is how you use the problem solving strategy acted out within the messy space framework.